morning uh, YouTube and Facebook. Today on How Hue, I'm going to work on the trailer for a little bit. The first thing I want to do is to take off the old particle board. It's probably been on there, I don't know, 20 years. It's been there a long time. This isn't that young of a trailer. So it's all busted up. So I want to, I'm going to pull that off. So I'm going to show you how, how, I, how I do that. Okay. Okay, here's what I'm thinking I'm going to be needing. Well, first off, I'm using that DeWalt table, and it's great. It was totally worth it. It's a fantastic little table. It's strong. It, uh, it's sturdy, doesn't wobble, folds up really, really well. So that, that's definitely a go. So hearing protection, hand protection, eye protection. Going to try a Sawzall and a little mallet hammer thing. Got some extra saw blades. Picked those up at uh, Harbor Freight. I don't know if Harbor Freight has improved their uh, their product line or everybody else is just crappier, but uh, on a lot of things, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference between the, uh, the name brand and the Harbor Freight cheapies and a lot of stuff. So this is a, a Ryobi Sawzall. My step, my... Uh, Son-in-law had given me a, a DeWalt, but I had a buddy who had a really big need for a couple of saws, so I traded to him so that he could get some uh, projects going that he was working on that were pretty important. And so I needed a, uh, thought I needed a Sawzall uh, before he was done with his project, so I couldn't trade back. So I picked up one of these Ryobis. I already had the battery, so... Uh, the tool was very inexpensive at that point, and it does just a fine job. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the piece of wood that needs to come off, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it looks like most of the wood is in good shape. I'm still going to uh, pull it apart, but I'll use a, uh, a nut dry, you know, a screwdriver gun and a wrench and knee pad. And try to save the uh, save the nuts and bolts and washers and stuff and reuse them. Hopefully, okay. Gonna keep going. Okay. Well, some of the screws I had to cut out had to cut a little bit of the wood. The rest of the screws I just used a uh, used some tools and took them out. So let's see if I can pull that piece of uh, old wood up and cut it up and toss it in the can. Okay, came right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and dismantle that. See what we got. Okay, there it is. It's been uh, had the crappy old wood taken off the top. The lights don't work, and the wiring's a million years old. So I'm just gonna rip all that it out and replace it with a new light kit. They come with wire. Probably going to shorten that uh, that long piece down. Have to replace the rusted out uh, hitch part. I don't know what you call that part of the hitch. No, it's not the receiver, so it must be the pitcher. Okay, more to come. Okay, well that's about all for. Boy, those things are. Let somebody tell me when stuff's crooked. There we go. And uh, so that's about all for now on the Harbor Freight my version of a teardrop trailer build, I guess. Okay, have a great day. Out.